Hello everyone. So it's been a few weeks since our last update on the Angular 2 prototype, so I thought I'd show you what we've been working on. Uh, first off, just a ma minor sort of uh, sidebar thing is that we have a, a context menu now that changes as we browse throughout the site. So if I go to a community level, you can see community specific options. Collection level, we get collection specific options. And down at the item level, we get item specific options. So that's kind of a cool little feature that is in all DSpace UIs already, but it's something we wanted to prove out that we could do within the Angular 2 user interface. More of the work in the last couple weeks has actually been involved in the creation process for items. So we've reworked the how you create an item a little bit more. Um, as you can see, the uh, create an item screen now starts with an upload files option where you can drop, drag and drop your files there. Uh, the next option then is to actually select a type of document. And what this does is it dynamically changes the metadata fields that you're going to have below based on the type of document you're uploading. So by default you get just item, item metadata, what we call our default item metadata form. But you can change this drop down here to dynamically change what fields are specified here. Uh, for most of our demo demonstration types, we just really do a title and description for now. We need to complete out the metadata that's more specific to a presentation or an animation or things of that nature. Um, under the thesis type, we get a much more full form at this point in time. And again, these, these fields are all tweakable uh, using the same JSON configuration files that I showed off in the last demonstration. In fact, I'm going to pull this window to the side here and show how this is sort of configured. So we have the select a type option, which is actually right here defined in JSON. And each of the options within that select box now has a form associated with it. So if I select the animation type, it's going to use the type slash animation form. If I don't specify what I want to use, by default it's just going to use our default item form. And the cool thing here then is that each of these forms is actually a separate JSON file. So I've got a types directory here with a separate JSON file per form type. And you can even have options that share the same form. So whether you select image or image 3D, it's just going to use the type slash image form. And these are all tweakable. So I could change some of these to just use the default item form if I wanted to or whatever name I want to have for the forms. So that's kind of a cool idea that you can have all these various forms based on the types of documents that you want to put into your DSpace. And then after you have these forms defined, you can dynamically, uh, or dynamically have your users select a type so that it will specify which form they're to use during the deposit process. So again, this is all just kind of a proof of concept that we could achieve this, but it shows off kind of a neat dynamic feature that we've been able to, to put into our prototype already. So I do want to also show off just the uploading, um, drag and drop upload feature. So I'm going to pull that to the side here and we're going to grab my upload folder of documents. So I just have four documents here that I can drag and drop over. And you can optionally provide a description for these files. You can say this is my spreadsheet or it's my data. Here's the PDF, the presentation version, however you wanted to describe these files. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and just provide a title and fill out these fields here real quick. So let's do a test demo item with many files. This is what I'm going to type in here. Put in my name and pull down for today's date. Just going to put in a testing for subject. And we'll provide an abstract. Uh, now when I press the submit button, I'm actually going to get a progress bar that you saw there really quickly as it uploaded the files. I'm uploading them to a local um, server here, so it's a really quick upload process. But, but if I had more files or it was a uh, much, uh, much further server, one that takes longer to upload, you see that upload progress bar go across as we're uploading those files. So now I can scroll down here and we have my test demo item with many files. And you can see I got all four of the files that I selected to upload. Um, I've got my basic metadata and my test abstract here. Um, so that's the basic features that we've implemented in the last few weeks here. Uh, there's much more to come, of course. And I think our next demonstration is probably going to be at the Open Repositories Conference in Dublin. 
but I'll continue recording these uh, these short videos after the Open Repositories Conference to keep everybody else up to date on the progress as we move through this. So if you're going to be in Dublin, we hope to see you there. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.